In shot one, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the elder bishops scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird. I say shalom to you, Akim out there. And this is a, a sit down lesson that I'm about to do. A quick one, and this on the uh, on this Sunday morning, uh, January the twenty third, twenty twenty two, and I'm about to break it up. It's a lock in, and this is from the uh, Market Watch, and it says, uh, and this was uh, first published on it was about a few days ago, uh, January twenty first. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, January 21st, uh, 2022, at 643 Eastern Time, and then had an update, which was yesterday, uh, January 22nd, 2022, at 554 a.m. Eastern Time. And the highlight of this article from the marketwatch.com, and it says NASDAQ Kapaz tumbles a 2.7 Friday to book the worst week since the uh, C word 19 era as the stock market caps brew scratch and it says uh, the US equal guards on a Friday ending sharply lowing capri capper capping a weather week for investors hiding the biggest week slide for the S&P 500 and the technology led NASDAQ could pause since March uh, 2020. How are the stocks in the S&P trading? The index, I mean, the S&P 500 was the negative uh, 1.89%, lost 84.79, and the points 1.9 to close to 4,397.94. In the Dow Jones, which was this was on Friday, and it slipped very low. It went down to the the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, the DJIA negative one thirty percent, shedded negative four hundred and fifty point two points, or one point three to thirty four thousand two hundred and sixty seven thirty seven. In the NASDAQ uh, composite index computed uh, 2.72 per tenth, gave up 385.10 points or 2.7, breaching a physical round number at a level of 14,000 too close at 13,786.92. For the week of NASDAQ opposes loss as a 7.66 drop, which is the worst uh, super performance. I mean, such performance, I meant to say, so like, uh, since March 20 of 2020, which is two years ago. And the S&P booked a 5.7 decline and also stepped far such fall since March 2020. And the Dow log at 4.6 weekly slide for the holiday short week, its worst week since October 30th, 2020. So, you know, you know, through, I say you've been having mixed uh, Dow Jones, the stock market, and, you know, the feds, you know, of the stock market, you know, they've been uh, increasing the interest rates because of. Uh, I believe at the end of uh, November and December, and all the way into January of 2022 of this year, you know, you know the stocks market been crashing like crazy, you know, due to the effects of this uh, this this demic, <laughs> you know, this demic, and this cold word, waters 19, you know, and they've been effective of that 
and they've been having huge concerns of that as well too you know because the stock market been crashing you know been up and down and they've been having mixed reactions and they've been losing a lot of money you know it's showing signs of the daughter of babylon is constantly consistent falling you know and i'm gonna bring out a scripture to prove that you know you know, with the hyperinflation going up, the cost of living going up, the cost of food and, you know, paying bills and all that, you know, that lets you know the signs of uh, Babylon is constantly and consistently falling, you know, especially in the year 2022, you know. In the year 2022, is, is, uh, Yahweh Shemal Shai is uh, continually turning up the heat on things. You know, in many different categories, even if it's a uh, financially crash, a wars and rumors of wars, up wars of the people, nations to rise against nation, kingdom against kingdoms, you know. So, you know, that's, and, you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in, you know. <laughs> I'm going to bring out that scripture for this as I read this article. And this is the book of uh, Revelations because we are, you know, we are really living in the book of Revelations because we see it right before our eyes, you know, with the push of the MOTB, you know, with the Karagma, you know, that's in the process of being pushed quickly right before our eyes, you know, you know, slowly but surely, but it's, it's definitely coming, you know, because the uh, American dollar is not going to be no more value, you know. And that's going to be around the world as well, too. Even though, you know, we already know everything is already digital. But once it's full implemented and in full effect, that's full digital, you know. And that's going to be uh, the Karagma, you know. You know, it's going to be the hour of temptation. That's in the book of Revelations 13 and 16 through verse 17. You know, that's the hour of temptation. Either you're going to take that, uh, that M word. Have it in your body, on the part of your forehead or the part of your right hand of your body. You know, and that's when you, that's when that our temptation gonna come. Where either you're gonna buy or sell, if you down with this Idumian system, or you will you how about Shemel Shai, which is the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well too. You know, and it says uh, he cried with a mighty strong voice, saying, "Babylon is falling, is falling." And it's becoming a habitation of devils in the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, right? Because all the uh, wickedness is going on in this place, you know, in many different categories. But I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get no uh, scrap on my uh, YouTube page. But, you know, you know, showing signs of this place is falling economically. In many other different categories as well too, you know, just like Joe Biden trying to uh, pass that bill, you know, and just keep on getting blocked. Build, build back America, you know. Ain't no building back America. This place is falling, man. It's gonna continually, consistently fall. You know, it might be times it might bounce back, but then a lot of times this place is gonna continue to fall. You know. Cause we see it right before our eyes, you know, this place is uh, falling. Like I mentioned before, the hyperinflation, the cost of living, you know, <laughs> the cost of, uh, of living with the higher rent, paying the bills and stuff, your light bill, gas bill, phone bill, the high price of gas, you know, the taxes of things, you know, they tax you a lot of money for on things as well too, you know, the food prices going up. You know, the cost of living is definitely going up. The housing market, it's expensive, you know. Even though they're trying to make it affordable, but that's, that's just still expensive, <laughs> you know. So, you know, these are the signs of the times that we're living in. And it's going to continue to crash financially, you know. 
So with that, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rek Arkadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the elder bishops scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim that be like to the be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And definitely shalom on to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom. Oh, and before I leave, um, say one last word. Babylon is the daughter of Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures. This place is definitely fallen, and we're seeing it right before our eyes. So with that, I will say shalom.